What's up everybody? So we're back out in the shop and in this episode we're working on some knives that we haven't worked on in a while. These guys right here. So if you haven't seen these or if you've been wondering where the heck have those been? These are the five shop build knives that I was working on. So the whole point behind these were to have 100% of the proceeds of the sales of these knives go towards the actual shop build and the setup of the shop. That is still the plan. You know, I had put these on hold for a little while because I wanted to make sure that my website was up and running because I wanted to actually put them for sale on it as opposed to try and sell them on different types of social media and things like that. So whenever we do finish them, they're going to be on the website, ribsexperience.com. So I'm really excited about these. And if you haven't seen these knives yet, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a link in both the description and the comment section down below where you can click on the last video that we actually put out working on these and you can watch that and kind of catch yourself up as to what we were doing and what we've done to this point. Now, in this particular episode, we need to work on the heat treat process. We need to work on, you know, making sure we get all five knives normalized, heat treated, tempered, all those steps. And then once we know all of them are nice and straight and everything's good there, we're going to taper the tangs on all five. So we've got a lot of work to do in this episode. We're going to go ahead. We're going to jump into it. We're going to get these things knocked out. So let's go ahead. Let's get it. All five are done. Now we just need to go ahead and temper them. So I'm gonna clean the oil off of them and get them in the oven.
All right, guys, let's go ahead and wrap this one up right here. So we've got one to the point to where I can go ahead and show it to y'all, but I do still have four more to go. I'm going to be working on these off camera because I've got a few more hours worth of work to do to them, and I figured I'd go ahead, finish on this one, and then we can go ahead and do the rest of them off camera. But this is where we're at. We've got our Tang Tapered. It is a subtle taper. It's nothing too crazy. I didn't want to bring this down too thin. I could have, but I, I like the way it sits right now. The weight feels really good, and this thing is turning out how I want it to. So we've got our flats on here, so where the scales are going to actually touch. Super flat, nice and straight. So we're going to have a good bond with those scales, and we're not going to be you know, flexing the scales to fit where we want it to fit. They're just going to fit straight onto here. So we got that set up. Now, one of the things that I did do was I went through and I actually cleaned up the bevels and the flats with a Scotch-Brite belt. So you can actually see that. I really like the whole Brute de Forge finish on here, even in the little Casso area. I think that that's going to look really cool. Now, I am planning on bringing the bevels up just slightly higher than where they are right now. But the goal for the next episode is to possibly go ahead, bring those bevels up slightly higher, and then we're going to be doing some sanding, some acid etching, and some stone washing. That is the goal. Oh, and maker's marks. We gotta do maker's marks on all five of them. So there's a lot of work. Anytime you do a bunch of knives all at once, there is a lot of work. And especially for ones like this where they are all similar profile, but they're not all exactly the same. It's not like I can just set up a jig and get after it. All of them are slightly different, and that was the point. I wanted them all to be slightly different. So, <sighs> guys, what do y'all think about that so far? I don't know if it seems like a big knife or not, but they are 10 and a quarter inches in overall length. It's got an over five inch cutting edge on it. It's going to be a good, just utilitarian knife. You can use it for anything. You want to cut a steak, cut a steak with it. You want to go outside and baton through wood, you can baton it through wood. It's long enough to where you can easily baton and hit here, hit here, however you want to do and go through pretty good thickness of logs. So it's going to be an awesome knife. We're going to do some awesome scales on there. It's going to be nice stabilized burl woods. And uh, I think y'all are going to really like the overall package whenever I get it done. But what do you think about where we're at right now? Let me know. Comment section down below, guys. Thank y'all for coming by. If y'all would, give the video a thumbs up, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Y'all have an amazing day. Y'all stay safe out there, and I'll catch y'all next time.